Hello, hello guys. Yan, good afternoon. We are back. Sorry, nagkamali pala ako na transition. We're back para sa ating uh, second, uh, last series natin for the day. Azure Ray up against Betmoom team yung magalaban ngayon. So, interesting naman yung naging opening pick dito. Medyo malakas nga lang for uh, Betmoom team yung kanilang opening pick dahil nga pag na storm. Alam na natin yung combination na yan. And then we do have Azure Ray for Enchantress and Ember Spirit. Boss Paul, good afternoon. Parang lahat ata ng si ngayon talo sa may mapasta si Serimination well ang hirap eh for me talagang talo ng esports lang yung sumasabay pa eh so far pagdating sa mga ganitong uh, tournament I don't know about bleed <laughs> pero feeling ko may potential naman yung bleed na talaga makasabay same goes with blacklist magka fall off lang talaga yung blacklist eh, madalas eh Dyer's turn to ban. Ten seconds. Dyer's turn to pick. Radiance turn to pick. The third pick data on the Bedboom team will be getting Crystal Maiden. Uh, medyo okay naman to. In terms of mana region, na next na hinahanap natin for the storm, di ba? Matutulungan pa siya ng Crystal Maiden. Then, malakas din naman siya sa lane. Up against Enchantress, Frostbite, sa neutral creep, doable din naman. And wala naman silang pang interrupt dito ng Freezing Field. So far, wala pa namang stun for Azure. Legion Commander. Well, Legion Commander, go home and do a good thing, Azuri. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. Skywrath Mage. Skywrath Mage for the next pick ng Azure dito. Para lang sa follow-up damage. Pagka-duel ng LC, Mystic Flare. Goods naman na yan. Wala namang pang save doon yung Bet Boom since Decrep. Mas talo lang ma-amplify yung Mystic Flare. And the Bloodseeker will be picked by Bet Boom team. So, ito yung usually uh, ginagawa ng Betboom, di ba? More on uh, dominant sa lane. And with Bloodseeker Crystal Ten Maiden, ang sakit na ito. Five seconds remain. Now, we're just waiting for the uh, position 1 hero ng Azure Ray. Actually, ang dami nang na-band out dito na ideal sana. So, medyo malilimit na yung options ngayon for Azure. Faceless Void will be removed. Then, who else? Dyer's turn to ban. Axe will be banned out. Bedboom team. Meron pa ba tayong uh, decent na ma-remove dito? Juggernaut? Ten seconds. Five seconds.
Radiant's turn to pick. Yeah, Juggernaut will be removed. And for the last pick ng Azure, well, I think range hero yung parang uh, safest right now to be picked by Azure squad. Pero sino pa ba yung mga available? Palitan ni Ami, yung uh, Lu. Uh, I think possible bang yari yun. Knowing Somnus, di ba? Yung uh, bond nila with Ami. Yeah, I think uh, possible. Alchemist will be picked by Azure. So, we'll be seeing Alchemist in action again. Although, in terms of scaling, I think uh, Betboom team still has the advantage. Wag lang talaga maduduwal yung Bloodseeker. I think that's the main uh, goal for Azure, di ba? Maganda naman yung burst nila over to Bloodseeker. Wala naman pang save dito sa Betboom team aside from Life Drain. So, Underlord will be picked. For sure, mag itemize tanto ng mga utilities para lang magkaroon sila ng sustain given. Ayun lang naman eh. Yung uh, initiation dito ng Azure yung parang magiging uh, biggest threat for Betboom dahil nga sa dual Mystic Flare. Kapag core hero yung nahuli, medyo mataas yung chance na mamatay yung hero na yun. Well, draft-wise, I think I'm gonna go still for Betboom team. Much easier way to execute yung draft ng Betboom team. In terms of scaling, yeah, sobrang lakas na itong heroes ng Betmoon team. Bloodseeker up against Alchemist. Kapag nagkaroon na ng enough item yung Bloodseeker dito, kayang-kaya niyang mamain itong uh, Alchemist. Oh well. Waiting sila tayo mag-start yung mismong game. Last series na to, guys. And this is the uh, game one. Yeah, what's the mass in bedroom? I, I, for me, mas okay naman talagang safe lane si Nightfall eh. Hindi ko din alam ba't siya nag-off lane sa Evil Geniuses before, di ba? Nung sila RTC pa. Mas gusto ko siyang safe lane. Siguro gusto niya lang mag-try ng ibang opportunity, kaya ginrab na rin niya na mag-off lane. Thirty seconds and counting. So, Bontemans natin dito, I think, will be 2 for 2. Yep. 2 for 2 naman yung nakuha natin for the bounties. Ha! 
Firestorm. There goes the blood right? Crystal Nova. Press the attack will be given to FY for the regeneration he needs. And Mohamabo boy naman si FY dito. Stable concoction. And uh, finally, first but secured. Para kay Chalice. Crystal Maiden dead. Nightfall Dito needs to be careful. Top 4 teams para sa akin. But of course, top 1 natin is Gladiators. For the remaining 3, parang even even naman na sila. Like Liquid. Bed boom, and then Tundra. And you're looking consistent name Bed Boom, kahit pa paano yun. Simulan na nag-change roles sila. Scarlet Mage down in the hands of Nightfall. So, nakakuha naman na ng kill dito rin yung uh, Bet Boom. Tamang chill cast na tayo guys if it's okay. Last series naman na to. Para may onting pahinga rin tayo kahit pa paano. Since bukas, another 4 uh, series yung cover natin. <laughs> Medyo nakakapagod din. Ilang, uh, ilang straight na tiga-apat na series pa. Ayoko naman boss. Kaya nang umis talaga ng Bet Boom dito. Pini ko ang kaya nila makatu zero dito si Pet Boom. Medyo naging okay naman na yung performance kasi talaga nila. I mean yung approach nila sa game na gets naman na nila like parang much better yung laro nila kapag uh, dominating sila sa lanes. So, i-prioritize nila yung uh, lane stage heroes. So four minutes of game, natin, and the wala pa rin naman masada ng iyare. For Toronto, Tokyo, yeah, the ideal target so far is the Scarlet Mage, and buti ka na mamatay tuh. The uh, Enchantress. But they do survive, and uh, wala naman magagawa dito yung uh, heroes for pet. Boom. Just continuing to uh, take advantage of the neutral creep. The center conquer. Yan binibuli lang naman yun si uh, Pagna. Overwhelming odds. Don't talk it either. Frostbite is available. Holding up Chalice. Chalice Dito. We'll be dealing with the Courier instead. Maohua naman yung gold. And as for the Enchantress, mundi ka na siya mabigyan ng pag na. Well, unstable concoction. Mauko naman ni Lu yung deny. So, uh, wala naman siyang uh, ma. Oh, ba was the gold? GPK Dito gets the kill over to Somnus. Nice rotation coming in for Bed Boom. I'll take that. 
one. This'll come in handy. So, tuto pa rin naman yung score natin dito in 7 minutes. And Blood Rite. Right. Concussive shot. Slowing down Nightfall. Nightfall dito. We'll be backing off. Wala pa naman tayong duel para sa LC. So, mabuboy pa rin naman si Nightfall dito. Tamang antay lang siguro ng wave or tamang hatak lang ng neutral. Para na makakuha siya ng lifesteal. And Storm, over to Somnus, Remnant out, Frostbite is available. Well, totally pa rin naman dito si uh, GPK, nice silence over to the Storm Spirit, pero wala silang enough follow-up dito. LC is level 6, but we're talking about Storm Spirit, so sino ba yung pwede maging target dito for the LC? He's running fast, over to Toronto, Tokyo. Overwhelming odds, Crystal Novo for the slows, press the attack to remove it, and finally... Umabot na yung duel. Yeah, we'll be able to claim that kill. Start of Fist for Somnus. We'll be able to reach it. Double damage secured para kay Chalice. 3 to yung score. 8 minutes in. Dikit pa rin naman yung laban natin up until now. And over to the Enchantress. He goes down again. So para sa LC natin dito, he got ruptured. He's manning up. But eventually will be taken out by the heroes of the side of Batmum team. For GPK, one more slide of fist for the Somnus, and down he goes. The Umabot your Frostbite, but they have the controls over the Somnus this time. One more second available to Remnant for the Somnus, won't be able to make it without any buyback to join back the fight for them. Yeah, so I think Batmum parin the manila mumang sa trade nyan. 1k lead para sa Batmum. Radiant should look to their middle tower. Radiant should look to their bottom tower. Stupendous! Dyer should look to their middle tower. Radiant's bottom tower is in Invisibility for Dyer's middle tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer should look to their top tower. The radiant glyph is now active. The dire glyph is Oh, nightfall dito. Hindi ka nang abutan. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So 10 minutes, 2k lead na for Petlum team. Mayaman pa rin naman dito yung Bloodseeker. And with GPK rotating in, nice chains for Somnus. Abot na pa rin naman na si Lu. And the quick double over to the Crystal Maiden. Toronto Tokyo will be taken out. Finn's gate a bit too late para kay Pure. But they might be able to catch still the Alchemist. And down he goes, looking for the next one. That's gonna be the Enchantress. Life Drain available para kay Save. And that's two dead for the side of Azure Ray. Included dyan yung Alchemist. Bye. 
So there goes the Vortex, Elsie. Still alive. Will be able to turn this fight around with the overwhelming odds and with the help of his teammates. GP Gadito's gonna be in trouble. He zips out just in time, losing the Pogna only. And nice dodge for the start of Fist. Yeah, dodge pa na ng uh, Ball Lightning. Well, for Pure, he'll be in front. And with three generation runes secured the Mandito para kay Pure will be manning up. Takes out the Ember, takes out the Enchantus, takes down the Scarlet Mage. So that was Bet Boom. Suddenly turning turn the fight around. Three dead for the side of Azure Raid. And the ancient stacks Titan na petting my provide for the Alchemist mo ko pa nga ng Bet Boom team. Lods, legit na ba yung pagbalik ni Ame? Sa ano lang naman yun, boss? Uh, parang... Southeast Asia Games ba yun? I don't know. Hindi siya yung uh, parang Valve Tournament or DPC Tournament. Hindi naman. Alam ito kayong tawag ng tournament dun. Smoke play for Azure. We'll take that. Ah, yon and CN Games and Tamasia uh, Boss Denmark. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, the silence will be there over to GPK. Live things is gonna be enough. No, they have enough burst. Hindi kaya ng heal. In damage done for the side of Azure and now looking for the next one. Duel is still available para sa LC. Save! Finally will be caught. And dual damage secured para sa ating Legion Commander. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. So regions finally available na sa alchemist. Start na lalong uh, ng pag farm dito ng alchemist. For Bloodseeker, meron na ba siyang BKB? Malapit-lapit na. 1k gold na lang yung hinahanap ng Bloodseeker to get that BKB. A good way to answer back yung regions dito ng alchemist for the DPS and then yung blind given. Well, it's just Azure securing their farms. Blink dagger para sa next one ng alchemist dito. This is the farm ng alchemist. And actually, nag uh, change siya ng uh, approach. He's going for BGB instead. For the LC, kailangan niya ng blink dagger para meron na silang pang initiate dito for the side of Azure. Ayun yung lacking on their side right now. Hindi pwedeng Ember Spirit yung mauna. And that was a quick one. A big kill secured. Well, as for Chalice, he'll be paying for his life because of this. GPK grabs the kill once again. So, one for one trade. Oh, hang on. That's gonna be Somnus. Yes, yeah, Light of Fist. Taking out the Crystal Mill. Nice Blade Mill pickup para kay Somnus. Returning the damage from the facing field. But we do have this Alchemist getting caught by GPK. Together with save, gotta take him out. Chains able to hold out GPK here. Life Drain will be continuing to keep him alive. GPK is still standing. And do found the Emperor Spirit with a bit of madness coming out from Pure. Remnant out para kay Somnus. Is it gonna be enough to escape? GPK dito din na. Ay, ay, medyo late yung ating Arcane. Para sa mana given over to Somnus. Well, there we have it. He'll jump in. Catches Sonus in time. Takes him out. Dominating na para kay GPK.
So 4k lead for Betboom. Well, they do found the Enchantress. So GPK, Mega Kill na. Well, over to Chalice. Duel comes out. Pero unang namatay dito is yung uh, LC. Yeah, namatay naman dito si uh, GPK in the turn. Pero dual damage given for the Storm Spirit. And I think, ayun, buti na naman. Buti level 1 duel lang yun para sa si LC. Kung level 2 yun, medyo mataas na yung uh, given dual damage nun eh. Parang ang sakit na nun eh kapag level 2 duel na yung nabigay mo. 28. Um, still permanent damage pa rin naman para sa Storm. Plus 18 pa rin yan. Malaking bagay na rin yan. Kahit pa paano. Alchemist dito. I think available na yung BKB. Yep. Going for a Blink Dagger for his next item. Maybe after getting blink, dito na yung uh, magi start yung Azure, di ba? Na maghanap ng mga possible team fight or pick offs with his alchemist. Uh, Bloodseeker. Going for Milner and then Shard. So, medyo maganda yung pagkaka blade mail pick up dito ni Somnus. Nice chains over to a quick duel over to the Pogna and down he goes. Kasi lang pang save kapag si saving na duel dito. Kaya nga save yung pangalan niya. Well, they had a rupture over to the Elsa this time. And where's the Alchemist? Nung lahat na siya paano nga uh, Jumoy sa team fight ito. Losing 2 right now, I think, for the side of uh, Azure. Yep, double kill para kay GPK. So, wala mo na mangyayari ngayon. I'm over here. Okay, lead for Petnum still. And for the Bloodseeker, Milner is available. After getting Shard upgrade, ito na yung uh, medyo okay ng the damage for Bloodseeker. FYD though, will be taken out. Now they've used the rupture over to the alchemist. 
Still has his BKB if needed. Viewer manning up. Bit of malice for the follow up. Mindful he took it up on his own BKB, but same goes with Lou. But he's dropping low. The damage is too much coming out from Nightfall. And that's an Alchemist dead. But I'm pushing short noon partied. Now make it another one. Elsie goes down. They even catch Somnus. And that's four. Down for the side of Azure Ray. Looking for the next one. And Chantus Tito will be spotted. And down he goes. So that's, that was a full wipe secured for Betboom. And actually, GPK is ready to look for more. Yeah, well, na naman dito yung Scarlet Mage for the second time around. Kaka respond lang niya. Yeah, this is just Bet Boom. Showing some dominance up against Azure. Malabit na rin tayo sa Lincolns for the Storm Spirit. Dinubal na naman pala siyang Storm. Meron siyang 46 damage. He got. Ang taas nun. Dinubal pala ulit siya kanina. Sa club niyan, pag ganyan, ang yaman ng Storm, tas nabigyan mo pa ng 46 damage. May libreng Demon Edge. For the Bloodseeker, he's queuing up Aghanim Scepter first, bago siya mag-shard upgrade dito. Well, goods din naman yan, para sa servability na na-expect natin for the Blood. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. We'll take that. Smoke play, here we go. Looking for me. Whoa, what I miss. Over until I win. <laughs> <laughs> waiting dito mag, uh, resume yung game natin. Kapag nakapos. <sighs> yeah, it's go time. And let's go into the smoke play for the side of Azuri. But same goes with Bet Boom team. Naka smoke up din naman sila dito. Running towards bottom lane. This might be a good fight if ever na maka position dito yung Azuri. Unfortunately, Twins Gate ginagamit na dito. Double damage. Nighttime rush. FY has been spotted. FY has been caught. FY is dead. Fins gate play for the Underlord. Blood right. We'll be able to scout out the Enchantus. GPK gotta jump in. Just can't help himself. Killing heroes after kilos, uh, heroes. Looking for the next one. It might be Lou. 
does have the BKB still para sa ating Alchemist so not gonna be the DL target for them but they will try and force his BKB out so TP out na lang muna para sa Alchemist he'll be safe but it looks like this might be an easy rush for Betboom pero nag stay over pa naman dito yung uh, LC he just need to be quiet nagsya nakita dito ng uh, Betboom team patay agad to wala namang BKB to hindi makataas ng LC Oh, Chalice! Nicely done! Pero wala siyang makukuha doon kahit ano. <laughs> I mean, ang ganda ng timing niya. Kung ganun siya nag-blink. I mean, never expecting na... Matatamata-timingan niya yun. Kung kailan na low, low yung Roshan. Pero yun nga. Hindi na naging successful. Wala siya nakuha ang bounty for the Roshan. Wala din siya nakuha ang Aegis. So, uh, still... Nakuha lahat yun ng Betmoom team. Meron pang uh, bonus dahil napatay nila si Chalice. So, Salt Grass, available naman na para sa Alchemist na purchase naman na niya. For the Storm, wala naman siyang abot na dito, except for FY. And uh, nag-commit na naman sila na Fiend's Gate doon. So, for FY, there's nowhere to run. He's dead. Wisdom run secured para kay Toronto Tokyo. Meron na ring charge yung Crystal Maiden. And same goes with the Bloodseeker. Ang hirap na na ito. For Azure. I mean, kailangan talaga magandang dual target sa Azure. Ayun yung uh, i-expect natin dito. So far, lagi sila nauunahan ng Storm. Diba, nire-reveal agad yung position nila. Talon lang, talon lang yung Storm Spirit. Well, that's gonna be LC dead. Ten K lead for Betboom, and they do found do rupture use. Look at the damage coming up from the Bloodseeker. Is it gonna be enough? Yes, it will be. Nightfall with Ags and Shard upgrade included. Now Basher on its way para sa ating Bloodseeker. Talikado dito yung uh, Azure Ray Remnants out para kay Somnus Pero abuta pa rin naman siya sa GPK And look at the damage That's insane for the Storm Spirit That is a double damage given Nung LC sa kanya And now even FY Will be caught right here The bottom blocks from Bure Firestorm has been dropped FY will drop also Ang laking bagay yung 46 bonus damage ng Storm And that's tier 2 top tower down and for the LC, hello sir, Blood Miss, di nga lang siya aabutan dito. And we'll be aiming down those uh, tier 2 bottom tower while GPK killing heroes after heroes on the side of Azure Ray. And Chantless goes down, godlike again para kay GPK. Play na play si GPK dito. Well, what is next? Tier 3 top power. 
Back to full mana again para sa ating Storm. Well, he jumps in. We have the chains to hold him. GPG Tito cutting out the waves. That's it. But he needs to be careful. Nullifier will be thrown over to Nightfall. Does have the Aegis still para sa Bloodseeker for 30 seconds. So it won't matter. Set of racks on top lane. Mukhang pwede naman makakuha ng Betmung team. Pero back to protection finally comes in. Yep, mukhang madidefensahan pa rin naman nata ito. Or Betmung dito maglalaban pa rin naman. Rupture use over to the Alchemist. The Storm. He'll jump in. Pops the BGB para sa ating Alchemist. But the bash coming in for Nightfall. But not enough in damage dito to finish him off actually. And that's gonna be the uh, Scarlet Mage down. Duel comes in. Looking for Nightfall. Nightfall still has the Aegis during that time. Not hindi uh, na time perfectly yung, yung Aegis expiration. I think one more second pa ata bago mag-expiring Aegis in Nightfall and that was an... I mean, worth a try for the side of uh, Azure Vein. Kasi wala eh. Hindi sumakto eh. Game might be over because of it. Napatay na lang Bloodseeker but they need to deal with him again. And that's Alchemist dead. That's Enchantress dead. Buys back for the Alchemist. He's alone right here. And GG has been killed. That's it. Game is over. Game number one belongs to Bet Boom Team. What a performance for them, actually. Yeah, ito yung gusto ko sa Betmong team, uh, sa changes nila ngayon, the way they approach the game. Talagang hinahabo nila yung dominance sa lane para lang uh, makontrol nila agad yung game and ganun yung nangyari. Like after lane stage, di ba nanalo doon yung Betmong team? Nakita natin yung constant rotation coming out from Betmong teams. It's not just about, it's not just GPK constantly looking for a fight. Halos lahat sila. Talagang... Gusto nilang pumatay ng pumatay ng heroes. Gusto nilang ma-choke down yung opponent nila. And as a result, game 1 natin dito. What a performance for Bedboom. Magbabalik pa naman tayo for the game 2 after the short break yan, guys. Thanks so much for watching and be right back tayo.